wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? So we're back to our series on exercises that apparently you need to do to get big body parts. No other body parts, no other exercises work. No. Oh. Barbell row, big back, that's all we got. Big back barbell row. If I could go back in time in my career, or when I was lifting and competing, I would have abolished this lift from my lift. It built me like a good foundation because I was just holding so much physical weight in my fucking hand all the time. And getting that strain down over my back and snapping up through apparently. I don't even know if I want to do a plate here, but I'm going to find out quick. So someone asked me, since I'm a man of the people, <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate my barbell row. I don't do barbell rows free weight anymore. And I never will again. So I don't think... I don't think bodybuilders should either just because of the like the amount the risk of injury like your risk to reward is like real is real low on that one right I mean real high so it's like why are we doing that when we have safer options and we have better options and we can probably even go heavier on something like a smith because it's on a fixed track I don't need to take this thing off and walk back like Frankenstein out of the fucking <laughs> like walking dead zombies out of the and then like here and ding, 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 the plates are rattling. Ding, 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 ding. It's like you're so you're so far you're so worried about that thing fucking like yanking your fucking back out of place, or you or just the whole the whole idea of having four plates out in front of you, and and most of you don't understand this hip posture of like tucking into your hip and going over. You're just like <sighs> it's like you look like newborn giraffes trying to pull up heavy weight so what I prefer if I do do it and I would do it as like kind of a like this style of movement where I'm just trying to squeeze and really contract into my back and get more out of a barbell row because a lot of barbell rows are are simply this like guys go over here and they go up here and they get their spot and then it's and it's rocking so there's like a contraction of like 0.2 seconds at the top we flex our back and we drop the bar again, right? So the idea here is to think that I'm gonna, I'm hips pressed to the bar and I'm leaned over. So when I come over, I can rock up through and I can emanate forward. So find your spot here and then drive through. Almost like I'm shrugging, but I'm coming around my lats and my mid back up through. I'm not trying to create this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Just to say like, I did four plates on the barbell row. My back's probably huge now if I take my shirt off. It's like, it'll have some type of impact. Don't get me wrong, but the real impact of that is probably gonna be felt 10 years down the road when your fucking hips are arthritic, <laughs> your lower lumbar is fucking smashed to shit because you're fucking, everything's just disintegrated and degraded in there. Are you speaking from experience? Yeah. It's like I say all this stuff because I know it's happening to me as we speak. Yeah. It's the process that's happening inside my body as we speak. And I did more weights than most of you. You can look it up. It's like, and move them, and move them efficiently. Didn't move them like a bitch or fucking bounce and flick them. But it's like, it's all great. And it gives you this like, ego trip which is again we've talked about that that needs to fucking go out the door with bodybuilding and just like you get to say this and say that i remember when i was younger i trained in rhode island at a gym called riverbend it's no longer a gym it's like gone it's where i trained my first trainer joe and i was coming like fresh off football so i was all about like i'm fucking strong on this and that and i was moving like stupid weights like incline benching like five and a half plates for reps God knows what it looked like. I don't even want to go. I would not want to see the tape of that if there was one. Or if I could go back in time, I'd probably yell at myself. But it's like, even like the guys in the gym who were there who were like, there's a couple guys who were like competitive bodybuilders that are kind of older. 
really good physiques, like solid muscle, like very developed, like nice clean aesthetic, like very balanced physiques. And these guys would just be looking at me like literally in horror. Like just like, like they didn't even want to look. Like, because the blue was so bad or because no, because the weight and the fact that I need, and I was probably moving horribly at the time because I just got out of football. So I was like in that mentality, just move it at whatever cost. And I remember seeing the, the one dude, I forget his name. I should remember it, but I don't. Thanks football. <laughs> uh, he was just like craziest physique and would just be like doing, just in the corner, like doing his, doing his curls or like, you know what I mean? Doing his chest with like two plates and just like really squeezing like every fiber. And I was just like, man, like that's bullshit. I was like, this is this fucking, you need to lift heavy, man. If you want to get big, blah, blah, blah. I was like, meanwhile, I'm already bigger than him. At this time, I'm like 285. He's like 215, 220, maybe like 210. And it's like, so I'm already bigger than you, right? So that's fine. But it's not like because I lifted the weights, I'm a bigger guy than you. It's just like, and even he was looking at me like, yo, man, like, take it easy. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> like, so all this stuff I'm telling you is because I'm, it's almost like when I'm doing these videos, I'm talking to my former self. I'm not really talking to anybody. But I know there's a lot of, like people like my former self out there because we all have the same sickness. We all share the same like fucked up brain, hive brain and bodybuilding. It's fucking weights and heavy, heavy, heavy. It's like, if I don't push more, I'm not fucking growing. It's like, you ever, you need to start thinking of like the bodybuilding as the accumulation of the work you're doing. So if you've been lifting for 10 years or five years, lifting properly, lifting well, injury free, moving efficiently, always putting on muscle, being smart about what you're doing. And you have 10 years of foundation behind you. Like that's more important than like, oh, my lift today was like maxed out. So those, all that foundation I have doesn't matter. It's like, it's like saying I got, I got one new window put into my beautiful home. Meanwhile, I don't, I'm not looking at the rest of my beautiful home. It's like I can walk around and enjoy. I'm just obsessed about this one window I put on the top floor. It's a storm window. You know what I mean? Like you're not appreciating, you're not appreciating yourself and the work you put in, you're discounting that. And that's not smart. You shouldn't be like that. That's why every workout doesn't need to be the fucking best, or the fucking last workout. It's like, just do the work, man. Push yourself hard within your, within your boundaries and do the work. There's a lot of people that make like, it's not even, not anyone in particular the, who tried to like formulate how to do bodybuilding or how to do this sport. And a lot of them, one, haven't done it. Two, might have done it, but not at a top level or anywhere near it. And they, yet they seem to know, like, they seem to think they have the recipe because they sit down and they, Think to, basically they think to themselves, how can I sound smart? What can I do to put my stamp on this sport that doesn't require me actually doing it because I can't? So what can I do to put my stamp on this? Let me devise this ridiculous thing to tell actual competitors to do, which will make 0.03% difference in their performance and outcome and the end result of being on stage. Let me get them, because they're all OCD and fucking overanalyzing everything, and obsessive compulsive, a lot of bodybuilders. So you get a deal, idea in their head, you plant that seed, and that fucker grows and embeds itself and takes over your whole body, right? And you're like, now I have to, <laughs> I, <laughs> I take my vitamin C every day at 10, 15 a.m. Because a minute earlier, a minute later, absorption's gone. It's optimal at 10, 15 a.m. It's like, do you, under, that's going on in this world. That's really going on in bodybuilding, that kind of stupidity. Like if you're, if you have to think about things that much, you're wasting your time. Like it is not that intricate of a sport, really. 